Okay. Okay. What, what has been uh, some of the weaknesses that you've had um, that you're working on for like this season and, and, and for in the future? Um, like movement wise, I guess we've been doing a ton of rope climbs, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, like footwork on rope climbs is something that I'm working on. And then always wall balls. <laughs> yeah. Wall balls well, are could, hard. Cause you, how, how tall are you roughly? I'm five three. Okay. Yeah. Cause I mean, obviously that, you know, doing rope climbs and stuff like that, you have more, you know, way to go up and do a lot more pulling and even wall balls. You got to use your shoulders a lot more just to get it to the targets. Yeah. Yeah. So I always, I have like, it takes me three pulls to get up the rope. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I, I'm six, six. So it just takes me like, uh, maybe like one, one, one and a half. Yeah. Night. If that, yeah. <laughs> so I've been trying to work on that, but my, my problem is I'm always, I always freak out going all the way down. So I don't um, like, I don't let it go. So I just kind of like to slowly go down and do it that way. Uh, you got to work on that then. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I, I don't want to burn my hands either. So that's another thing. Yeah. It just, uh, I don't know what kind what's your foot like, do you use like a J hook? Uh, yeah. Yes. I use a J hook. Uh, yeah. You have to almost like switch your feet around to get down on the that okay. kind of clamp. All right, I gotta watch. I gotta watch a video on that. <laughs> yeah, or you probably just like lower, like slide down a little bit and jump down. Like you don't have much to go. Like <laughs> yeah, true, true. But I, I always see these like guys that are like literally letting go and they're just like rolling their hands down and then they just like grab it like last minute. Yeah, that's what uh, you need. I forgot the footwork name. I think it's the at. I won't say the F hook. There's a different footwork that's not the J hook where you just like move your feet out a little bit and can slide right down. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I got to work on that. So, yeah, yeah, okay. awesome. But um, also, I know you've done some weightlifting competitions too, as well. Yes. So how um, how do you like that doing that? It's fun. So in 2022, I took the season off across it, and I just focused on like a weightlifting cycle, and competed at weightlifting nationals. I was just like, I guess a little, I needed a break from CrossFit like after the 2021 season like that whole summer all I did was train weightlifting and competed in a meet in August and then qualified for nationals and that like whole year building up I kind of did a little CrossFit but wasn't really couldn't really get into a rhythm with my training so I decided not to compete through the season or not do quarterfinals and instead I did a weightlifting cycle building up to competing at weightlifting nationals which was in July of 2022 so I competed there. It was in Las Vegas, which was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Did you do a little gambling after? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. not, I never gambled before. Maybe I did like a slot machine once, like years ago with my friend somewhere. Yeah, just like a do- put once. a dollar I, in. Yeah. Yeah. I must have done, I think, once ever. But I didn't gamble when I was in Vegas. Yeah. I did play I... carnival games, though. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's all you got to do. I, I, I went there for a bachelor party and I probably spent like maybe 50 bucks there. And then I have other friends of mine that's like dropped like $800 that the money they couldn't afford to lose oh, on gosh. like on blackjack. And I was like, oh, not blackjack. They're playing poker. And I'm like, why are you playing poker? Like these people are been are, are like pros in this area and you're just going to get smoked. Like what's, yeah. I was like, I don't it. get it. Yeah. He just lost $880 and he's just like told his, told his wife and his wife was not having it whatsoever. I can't imagine. Yeah. that's <laughs> It's so <laughs> funny there. People, you, they just like suck you in the machines, the tables. I stayed at like the Bellagio for like two nights when I was there. And I remember like, I'd go down at 6am, like to get breakfast and there'd be people like drinking beers, like coming up the elevator. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's that's cra- funny. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, I've heard that like, if you notice in casinos, they don't have like clocks or, or anything like that, or like they, they don't no. have any really windows. And also I've heard that they pump like, o- like hundred percent pure oxygen in there. So just so the people that are gambling, they could just like stay awake the whole time. That's wild. I believe that it's like, I just like hold my breath and like walk through the casino to the elevator. Cause it was all smoky. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. Th- I mean, yeah. that's, that's, I, I had, was, I was playing blackjack with somebody like next to somebody that was like smoking cigarettes, like all like the whole time. And I was just like, I couldn't do it. It was gross. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I like have no shame. Just like covering my mouth and walking past them. <laughs> 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 Make 
making them feel bad about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so since you've been training at Training Think Tank, are you looking to like move down here permanently at all? Or uh, well, I lived here for three years. I did move down here. Okay. Um, and I just moved back to New York in October, so I'm just here visiting for like three weeks. Okay. You you miss yeah. you miss the New York weather, like the snow and uh, cold. No, definitely not. Uh, I missed it here though. <laughs> like yeah. being here, I missed the gym. Yeah. It, it's kind of uh, it's so like you have like no family members that were down in georgia at all it was like pretty much like all by yourself yeah i didn't have no family in georgia yeah that's tough like i for for me i moved down here with my wife and my two my, my actually my one of my kids at the time and i had no no family down here at all and everyone's like all up in massachusetts so it's you know uh, it's a little tough to you know just it's like oh you, you know you have like you know my brother brian to hang out with and whatnot i'm like yeah that's yeah but it's not like my friends from like long a long time ago so it's like yeah it's different yeah 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 all and, my um, family lives in new york yeah so um do your uh, do your friends from new york or do they understand like what you're trying to do and kind of help you help you out um i think they understand like my friends always watch my competitions and like i'll keep them updated like and you know, let them know what's going on so in the live stream link so they're yeah. always rooting for me, but like, I, they don't know really what's going on because <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to like explain. <laughs> yeah. And so now, it, yeah. Is there sometimes that you have to tell them like, listen, I can't go out tonight. I have like something going on or like something big the next day um, at all. Or like in over the years, like that's happened. Yes. Um, as a, like, uh, no one really goes out. Like my friends don't really go out anymore. Like they have kids and they're ma- like, <laughs> We okay. Meet for lunch, yeah. <laughs> yeah, lunch, I lunch is it? Out. Lunch I and brunch. Don't go out anymore. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I was out somewhere, like going out. I don't think I've done that in years. <laughs> yeah, I've. I think I'm the same way too. I haven't gone out that much. I don't. I don't really yeah. care for it. It's not. It, I just doesn't yeah. fill me up. No, it's not really fun. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I actually I quit drinking on in September. So it's just like, I, I didn't, I wasn't like a raging alcoholic or anything like that. I was just like, mm-hmm. I would, I would have a drink the night before and then I would go work out the next day. And it was just like, I felt awful. And I'm like, I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to do this. Yeah. You don't feel good after. Yeah. <laughs>